Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A, get ready with me, makeup tutorial, life update, story time. I don't know, it's going to be a nice little mixture of everything. The questions that you guys asked me, I saw some of the first ones and you guys know me so well. How? Okay, so without losing any more time, let's start. I'm gonna sneeze. It's coming. <coughs> so without losing any more time, let's see what you guys want to know about me and starting my makeup. So many questions about my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, what's your boyfriend name? His name is Dimitri. I got so many questions about my wisdom tooth because in my previous video I mentioned that my wisdom tooth, that guy, is definitely not in the place that it should be. I'm freaking out because I'm almost certain that we'll need to, you know, it's very, very scary. Cause I never had a tooth extracted, you know, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how to, I don't know. You guys were so, so, so sweet in the comments of my previous video. You made me feel so much better about mine. Cause so many of you said that it's not that painful. It might seem scary, but it's not that dramatic. <laughs> I'll need to go take a photo of it, like an ex, ray photo of my tooth so that we can see what's going on inside there but yeah i'm pretty much certain that it will need to get out of there i don't feel pain for now but i feel like it will get really bad really soon so i need to take care of that but i'm also freaking out and i'm scared and i don't know anyways let's not talk about that because i'm getting very <laughs> you know how did you and your boyfriend meet how long have you been together we've been together for Oh my god, it's been so long. We don't really have a anniversary day, so it's kind of difficult to know exactly how long we have been together. It's been probably four, five years. Yeah, wow, he's a hero. And how did we meet? <laughs> we met online, but not on a dating website like most cool kids do nowadays. No, we met, um, <laughs> we met in a game online. It was the most unusual place to find somebody. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, I know, but I really mean that. He's an angel. I don't know what I did to deserve him. What do you think of all these makeup launches? Too many? Yeah, definitely. Oh my God, lately brands have been releasing so many products all the time. It's hard to keep up. So many food questions, I love it. If you could eat just one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would guess cheese. Hmm, cheese. That's a good guess. If I choose a food that is delicious and I absolutely love and I could only eat that for the rest of my life, it's so unhealthy, I would not live for a very long time, you know? <laughs> so it depends. Am I choosing something nutritious or am I choosing something that I love? Because that's two different things. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> How can such a simple question be so difficult? So I guess there are two answers to this question. A food that I love. I'm choosing pizza. Because no matter what food I'm eating at some point, I get tired of it, no matter how much I like it, right? I'm just getting bored of eating the same thing, even if it's super delicious. So I'm choosing pizza because you can switch up what's on top of it. You can switch up the topic, toppings. Top Topics? Toppings. You know what's on top of the bread of the pizza, right? That gives me a lot of room to play and never get bored of it. So, and I also love it a lot. Now, if it's something that I need to survive on, that's a whole new topic. Toppings. Topic. What is that one food that has all the nutrients that we need to survive? I don't know. Okay, listen, I'm not gonna do my usual close-up window because I wanna focus on answering the questions, not so much on the makeup today. Do you want to move to a place like Los Angeles or New York? No, I've never been to Los Angeles or New York, but I've heard that they're very crowded. I've heard that there is a lot of traffic and people everywhere. I'm not a fan of really big cities like that. I'm gonna explain why, but this makeup, no one else will do it for me, so I need to be moving on. <laughs> I grew up in a very small town and hold on, give me just a second. I wanna find out how many people live in New York. I would guess something like 10 million. For 2019, there were 8.5 million people. 
I think that they're even more in Los Angeles. Let's check it out. The current population is estimated to be 4 million. Okay, listen, that's a lot of people. I'm currently living in Athens, in Greece. Let's find out how many people live here. The current population of Athens in 2019 is 3.1 million. Is that true? That many people live here? That explains a lot. So, I grew up in a very small town. We were like 50,000 people, which is still a lot of people, but comparing 50,000 to 3 million or 10 million, there is a significant difference, you know? So, I grew up in a very small town. My school was like five minutes away from my home. I walked to school every morning, you know? I didn't need any kind of vehicle to get to school or anywhere else around the town. I could just go out of the house, I have foundation in my hair, <laughs> I could just go out of the house and walk anywhere that I needed to go, just walk. I didn't need a bike or a car, none of those. And it was so convenient, it was so easy. That's how my life used to be, that's how I was used to living and doing stuff. But when I moved to Athens, Oh my goodness, it was crazy, I was in shock. If we wanted to go somewhere, we had to spend so much time just driving. It was such a waste of time and it still is because I'm still living here. The distance from point A to point B, huge. The traffic, insane. Finding a parking spot, mission impossible. It's impossible. I don't like the idea of wasting that much time just to move around, you know? So yeah, big cities, they might be very appealing, but definitely not my thing. And even though I'm living in Athens, I'm very far away from the center of Athens, where most people are and most of the things are happening, because I want to be able to move around. Of course, living in a big city, you have everything that you could possibly need around you and it really depends what kind of person you are if you're somebody who want to build your career you want to find opportunities moving in a big city like that can be very very beneficial so look at this look i'm so so excited you guys i'm telling you it's going to be such a nice look because i tried um creating it on one of my eyes yesterday and it turned out so pretty oh this is a nice question and it's kind of related to what i was just talking about do you have driving license? And if you have, do you like driving? <sighs> How do I answer this question without being overly dramatic? Let me think, let me think. I do not like driving. No, I have a driving license. I know how to drive. If I have to, I will. But I hope that I don't have to because I don't like it. I feel like I can't do it. <laughs> and I think that that's a very respectful reason to not do it. If somebody doesn't feel ready to do it, if somebody doesn't feel like they can do it, I feel like they should not do it. Okay, moving on. I don't want to be one of those drivers that relies on everybody around them to protect them. Oh, so there are some people out there that drive like savages. <laughs> they just make it so much more dangerous, not only for themselves, but for everybody out there, you know? Yeah, if we wanna go somewhere, Dimitri is driving, he has the experience. I just feel a lot more safe when he is driving. There was that one time we were coming back home. It was a very quiet road, okay? There were no cars, it was like, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, something like that. And <laughs> there was that one cut. <laughs> Imagine that we're the only car on the road and that cat, I don't know what it was thinking. It just decided that, who? I see a car coming. What a great opportunity to cross the road right in front of that car at night where they can barely see me. The cat is okay. She's fine. It was very scary for us. Dimitri just pushed the brakes and saved her because it looks like its instincts were playing tennis instead of doing their job in that moment. <laughs> I found out that there was a cat crossing the road because Dimitri pushed the brakes in order to save her. <laughs> he saw it, I did not. The same night we were driving, again, very dark, quiet road. He was like, you saw those two guys standing on the side of the road. What they're doing here so late at night, alone? It's dark, it's suspicious. And I was like, what guys? That night I realized for myself that I'm horrible at multitasking. Today's video is also a great example of that because I'm supposed to be doing my makeup and talking to you but 
it looks like I'm only talking to you. Those of you who are driving probably know that, but when you're driving, you have to check out what's going on behind you. You have to check out the left mirror, the right mirror, see if something decides to cross the road when it's not supposed to do it. You have to also constantly be aware of the behavior of the cars around you. You know, you have to do so many things at once. Also, if you have a manual car, good luck with that. <laughs> I took my driving license on manual car. I'm telling you, I'm a skilled driver. Automatic cars are the best thing ever. You can't change my mind on that. This was the worst makeup that I could choose to do in today's video because it's so precise. Okay, I'm gonna go perfect it and put on some falsies and I'm gonna be back because I will never finish up this look. Hello, after one second for you and three and a half hours for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was not that long. But that doesn't change the fact that this eye look is super time consuming. I wanna make it look perfect. I wanna make it look like a sticker on my face. I mean, on my eyes. It does look like a sticker. See, this is how I know that you guys know me. This question, how is the cooking going? I realized that in cooking, I like the part where I'm consuming the food a little bit more than the part where I'm preparing the food. I keep sabotaging myself by trying recipes that involve like 30 different ingredients and five hours prep time. I'm getting super discouraged. Obviously, I don't have the skills to prepare so complicated meals. Anyways, moving on. Do you ever feel weird when you're talking to the camera? Yeah, it never gets normal. Never. It's a totally different experience talking to a camera and talking to an actual human being. What chore do you absolutely hate doing? <laughs> I think that this video will be so negative because I'm all the time like, I don't like doing that. I absolutely hate doing that. This is my least favorite thing, you know? I only talk about the things that I don't like. Chore that I absolutely hate doing. All of them. I don't think that there is a special one that I hate more than the others. I hate them all equally. <laughs> oh no, hold on, that was a lie. Hold on, it's about to get gross. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, when you're washing dishes, by the way, I hate washing dishes, but when you're washing dishes, there are always leftovers of food in the sink, right? Always. It's so gross. <laughs> and you have to, you have to just take them and throw them. That's my least favorite thing to do. That's not exclusive to the kitchen sink only. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That also applies. How is it called? Forgot the word. Drain. The shower drain. Oh my God. Every time I clean it, and I clean it pretty often because it gets so nasty, but there is always so much hair, more than I have on my head. How? How? Told you that it's gonna get gross. I told you. Cleaning the sink or the drain. Ugh. Ugh. Your least favorite mode of transportation. Airplanes. I'm terrified of flying. Can't get over it. I love questions like this one. If you could travel in time, would you choose future or past and why? Before I answer, I have a question for this question. Can I come back if I travel to the future or the past? Can I come back to today or no? Because that changes everything and I'm talking about everything. See, if I can't come back, I definitely don't want to travel in the past. No. Things were so difficult in the past. I mean, technology didn't exist. Medicine. And I'm talking many years ago. Okay, I'm not talking about 20, 50 years ago. No, I'm talking about 500 years ago. There were so many diseases and there were, medicine was just trying out different stuff and hoping for the best, you know? That's not how you want medicine to work. Have you seen the tools that doctors back then used on their patients? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want, um, you don't want to go back there. Because if you got some kind of a disease, that's it. That's it for you. <laughs> now that I have my wisdom tooth and I need to get it extracted, if I lived 500 years ago, <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good now. If I can come back, yeah, I want to go back to the past. I want to see how things were back then. If I can't come back to today, I would prefer to go in the future. Although, 
I don't know how things will be in the future. I have very high hopes. I have very positive expectations of how things will be in the future. But things can go sideways very quickly. And I don't know if, if it gets worse. I want to see what technology will have in the future. I want to know how people will live in the future, what, what their life would be like. This is a very dark thought, but it's also a fact. I'm gonna die at some point. I really hope I can live for as long as possible, but at some point lights will switch off for me and that's so annoying because i want to see what happens next i want to see where all of our knowledge and technology and our achievements as humans where all of that will bring us are we gonna move to another planet what happens next <laughs> you know i'm gonna miss on all of that all of the exciting things that are coming up it's like watching series but suddenly you just that's it you can't see what's happening in the next episode so yeah i definitely want to go in the future see what happens but again, we might mess it up and nothing of those cool stuff ever happens. I find it fascinating, the universe, life, technology, science, biology, all of that. I find it so mind-blowing. And the fact that we, we can't explain so many things, it's so cool, actually. The fact that we don't know and we can't explain so many things actually makes us more curious. It makes our brain work, and I love that. Talk to me about stuff like that. I love listening to stuff like that. When I was going to school, all of that was so boring. And it was so boring because all of that were some numbers that we needed to calculate and formulas and as if all of that was not complicated enough. They also added letters to all of that mess. I don't like that part of science, but I like listening about it from a little bit more simple kind of view because I'm not that smart. I like when people explain it in a more simple way. Yeah, I can talk about that forever. So basically, where do I wanna go? It depends. If I can't come back to today, I wanna go in the future. If I can come back to today, I would wanna go back in the past and see how people lived. Cause history is also very fascinating, like seeing what people did back then. But I also don't wanna miss on what will happen in the future. Oh my God, this question is burning my brain. Let's move on. Do you practice your eye look before doing it in video? I'm a fan from Japan. I want to go to Japan so bad, but I don't want to fly. Ugh. Do I practice my eye look? Sometimes I do. This one, I did practice it. If it's a more natural look where I'm working with browns and, um, you know, more natural colors, I usually don't practice it. But if I'm mixing different colors and I want to see how those blend together and if they look good together, yeah, I might, I might practice it. How is your laser treatment going? Oh my god, I need to update you guys on that. Okay, my laser treatment was a fail. I don't think that laser treatment was what I had to do in order to get rid of my acne scars and stuff. It didn't work. I had laser treatment for I think like five times. It was like fractional laser treatment, but that was not for me. My dermatologist was... <laughs> she was treating me, trying out different stuff and just experimenting and hoping for the best. That was what was happening. Exactly. I'm so disappointed of her. So I'm currently going to a different dermatologist. This is just some brow gel. I know I need to clean it. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I need to do a whole video on my experience with dermatologists because I feel feel like I'm being so unlucky with them. I feel like I'm always going to the ones that are the worst. I don't know how that's happening. But I've been to about six different dermatologists. My skin is very messed up because of that. I feel like I'm never being properly treated. I'm gonna make a video on that if you guys are interested. Like a story time, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You like memes? Oh, <laughs> I love memes. I'm entertaining myself on a daily basis with memes. Okay, you guys asked me enough questions. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. Why? There are so many questions. When I'm gonna get married and when I'm gonna have babies. I'm a baby myself. <laughs> what do you mean? It's gonna be so ir irresponsible for me to have a baby right now. I'm still trying to find out how this world works. If I have a mini version of me and I have to explain it how everything works, what am I gonna tell it? I don't feel like I have the experience <laughs> to have a little human 100% dependent on me. I don't feel like I'm ready for that. It's too much responsibility for me right now. Maybe one day, maybe there will be a baby. <laughs> That's a great name for a pregnancy test. 
maybe baby, you don't know. So buy me and find out. I don't know. <laughs> About the getting married part. <sighs> maybe one day. I don't know, you guys. We've been together for so long. We've been living together for so long. So married, not married. It doesn't really make much difference for us. I have a question. It's about the weddings. Why are people spending so much money on that? I don't understand. I mean, I kind of do because it's your special day. You know, you want it to be as fancy as possible. Not all people do though, but you want to you wanna feel special because it's your special day. Here is a little story time. So last summer, Dimitri's sister got married. She had her wedding, right? And she, for some reason, she decided that I was the best person to take with her for shopping for shoes for her wedding. A little fact about me here. I'm sorry for blinding you with my highlighter. But a little fact about me. I don't like shopping in the mall, in the stores. I don't like doing that. I'm a huge fan of shopping online. Everything that I buy, I got it online. So anyways, I agreed because, you know, it's her wedding, whatever. I was bored. I don't know how it's in your country, but here in some stores for shoes, they have a bridal selection, not, not selection, bridal section of shoes, just some white shoes, you know, nothing special about them. But now that they're in the bridal section, they cost like four times more than all the other shoes in the store. Why? I don't know. They have some other shoes in the store that you can use for your wedding, but I feel like they're intentionally not good looking so that you have to buy the one from the bridal section, right? So if some white heels, not from a famous brand, not the greatest quality, but also not the lowest quality, just medium quality white heels cost about 40, 50 bucks, the bridal ones, the same shoe, same design, same quality, everything is the same. $200. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. It sounds like a joke. She, his sister, was not really familiar with online shopping, but she had me. I don't want to brag, but that's my sport. Okay, that's what I do for fun. <laughs> see, with online shopping, it's amazing because you get discount codes, you get to see everything really quickly and decide what you like, what you don't like. And it's also really safe because if you, if you receive a product that it's not what you expected, you can just send back. So we came home, I did my magic and we got her shoes for a lot less and yeah, she only wore them for a few hours. Now she has them in her wardrobe and these are the shoes that she wore on her wedding. That was it. She will never wear them again. So I think that it was a better idea not to spend so much money on them, right? It obviously depends on your budget. Some people want to go crazy on their wedding. I understand that. Even the flowers, they're so overpriced, they cost a fortune. <laughs> but the wedding was beautiful. Everything was really, really pretty. She had her wedding on the beach and it was lovely. It was a lovely celebration. I'm obviously kidding. You know, I understand why everything is so overpriced when it comes to wedding stuff. There is so many questions and all of them are so good, but I feel like when I start talking about something, I just can't stop and I forget to move on to the next question. <laughs> oh, a food question. What is your opinion of pineapple on pizza? I've never tried. Can you believe that? I might like it because I like weird combinations like that. I like mixing salty with sweet, spicy with sweet, you know, I like all those unusual combos. And I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be a fan of it, but I don't know. So I need to try it out. Um, what cheers you up when you're sad? Um, really nothing helps. When I'm sad, I'm sad. Maybe my boyfriend, just talking to him can help, but most of the times I just need some time. I don't have a hack or a cheat just to switch my moods. No, when I'm sad, I'm sad and I know that it will be over. I will feel better only if I just give it some time, you know, there is no other way for me. What is the weirdest food combination you absolutely love? Okay, so, 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 it's not that weird if you think about it, I mean, maybe it is. In my country, in Bulgaria, I don't know if it's something that everybody does, but that's what my family used to do. My parents used to make that breakfast, which was pasta with white cheese, that sounds okay to now. I guess, and sugar. That was the best breakfast ever. That was the breakfast of my childhood. I mean, pasta with white cheese, which is salty, and then sugar, that salty sweet taste, it was the best. So I guess this is like the first 
weird food combination that comes to my mind but i absolutely love that and they're still making that from time to time my grandparents had a different recipe <laughs> it was really good too so they were boiling the pasta in milk and then once it was ready they were putting sugar on it mixing it up delicious <laughs> yeah pasta with sugar who would have thought? I mean, pasta has a pretty neutral kind of taste, so you can mix it up with whatever you want. Have you ever slept with your socks or jeans on? <laughs> I sleep with my socks on every night. I can't sleep without my socks, especially in the winter. In the summer, sometimes I take them off. <laughs> my feet feel naked without my socks <laughs> so no 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 no. i slept a few times with my jeans on not in my house that's usually when i'm somebody else's house and i was not planning to spend the night there but i ended up sleeping on their couch nothing naughty here don't know i know where your mind is going bring it back here with me okay i'm talking about friend's house i've slept with my jeans on it's the most uncomfortable feeling ever in the morning especially um it feels so weird you know i want my pjs they feel so soft and so comfortable <laughs> all right you guys i think it's time to end this video because my camera is running out of battery i really hope you guys enjoyed watching hope you like how the look turned out this lilac color is so so stunning again i'm gonna have all the products that i used on my face listed down in the description box oh i just realized that there was no blending involved in today's look it's like a huge eyeliner i love it i love this kind of eye looks like subscribe share follow me on instagram facebook twitter you know what to do if you reached this part of the video thank you so much <laughs> i really appreciate you watching hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye